Fracking in Pennsylvania, destroying or developing? Does fracking benefit or does it hinder our amazing state? Can fracking bring jobs or unemployment? Will fracking end up polluting our rivers? Can fracking bring fortune or will we end in smog? Is there truth hidden underneath the river banks? Will the truth be dug up or washed away? Is there truth that more than 600 products using fracking can cause diseases? We hope to answer all these questions and more. You may be wondering what exactly is hydraulic fracturing. Well, hydraulic fracturing, sometimes referred to as fracking, is the process in which millions of gallons of water is released underground to break apart the shale rock. When the shale is broken, natural gas is released. The process of hydraulic fracturing is much more complicated. First, a well type structure is drilled vertically until the desired depth is reached. Once the desired depth is reached, the drilling turns 90 degrees. Then a mixture of sand and water, in this case the water could come from our rivers, is pumped down the well at extremely high pressures to create tiny fractures in the shale. Then the natural gas can escape through. Finally, the natural gas is drawn back up to the surface and it is then refined and processed. Even though fracking has its pros and cons, we will currently be focusing on some of its main problems. The first main problem is its potential danger to the environment. Taking water from the river diminishes the supplies for animals that rely on the river water. Also, if by any chance contaminated water got back into the rivers, it could poison organisms. Approximately 650 products used with fracking has been linked to diseases like cancer. Aside from major organisms, the chemicals that are involved in fracking has the potential to kill many protists. Protists are single-celled organisms that live in water. They are microscopic. Some of them make their own food through photosynthesis. Protists are often linked to asexual reproduction. Even though protists are microscopic, they make up a huge part of food webs. If a large amount of protists are killed because of hydraulic fracking, the whole food web will be thrown out of order. Another con is the fact that when a drilling site is moved, everyone in the area where the drilling was will lose their jobs. Also, fracking can cause unavoidable traffic jams that could take more than 20 minutes to get through. Besides the downfalls, there are also many good things about fracking. Even though fracking might take away jobs, when it moves to a different location, new jobs are created. Those who are in danger of losing their jobs can travel with the company to assure that their job will not be given away. Another good thing that fracking brings is that it is a cleaner, alternative way to get natural gas. The development of fracking in Pittsburgh may reduce the cost of energy in everyday homes, not to mention Pennsylvania is making millions off of this new development. We are also helping the United States meet the demands of natural gas. In Pennsylvania, there are many fracking companies like Chevron Appalachia LIC, EOG Resources Inc., Energy Corporation of America, EQT Production Corporation, Marcella Shale, etc. There are 59 operators in Pennsylvania alone. There are 6,391 active wells in all. There are 3,331 violations from fracking alone, and the fines total $4.9 million. This newfound gold that companies are drilling up is enough to last at least 20 years. As much as some people do not want to believe it, these drilling sites are actually designed to help protect the groundwater from pollution. Another pro about fracking is that almost a third of natural gas that the United States uses is from fracking wells. Also, the gas from the shales have helped the prices for coal to decrease. We hope we have answered all your questions and more. We believe that hydraulic fracking has its pros and cons just like everything else. Your views will depend on how much you know about the topic.